I'm a low microphone girl. Thank you, Kristen, uh, Mr. Mayor. Uh, what a great day to be in Waterbury, Connecticut. Uh, this is um, something we've been, thank you. You're welcome. Um, <clears throat> talking about for a while. Uh, some uh, would say that Waterbury is the last of the large cities in Connecticut to do uh, a 10 year plan. I say we saved the best for the last. Um, and it's a great day to, to start this process and the timing couldn't be better. Uh, for all of you, thank you uh, for letting us and inviting us to be part of this process uh, with you. Uh, as you know, the Coalition and Homelessness is a statewide organization, uh, and, and the short description is that we promote data-driven solutions to homelessness uh, in Connecticut uh, and here in Waterbury. Uh, it's a perfect time for Waterbury uh, to engage in a 10-year planning process, uh, and it's a perfect time, uh, it's a perfect confluence of opportunity, uh, as my uh, friend and colleague Dennis would say. Over the next six months, all of you are going to be engaged in a process of very carefully studying, sizing, reviewing data, and rethinking the way you address homelessness in the city of Waterbury uh, and throughout the region. Uh, with almost a million dollars coming to you th to the city uh, through stimulus funding for homelessness prevention, diversion, and rapid rehousing, you're going to have a unique opportunity to design your system around new ideas and even new funding. Each of you will have a role. Uh, as Kristen said, those of you on the leadership group will act as champions. You'll assign, hopefully, st key staff from your organization to serve on planning committees. You'll review and comment on goals and recommendations. Those of you who are a part of the steering committee will be responsible for overseeing the planning process, providing an important communication and problem-solving function across various committees that we'll be working on key issues uh, and discussing and vetting uh, all of those recommendations before they go to leadership. Uh, this will be a truly participative process. Uh, I expect there'll be hundreds of people involved who will have touched uh, this process with their expertise, with their resources, with their ideas, and with their experience uh, as we move forward in this plan. Uh, disappearing and reappearing in the very back of the room is Lydia Brewster, who I think is going to be in Waterbury every Thursday uh, 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 facilitating groups um, and acting as a key agent in your community as you formulate your plan. As I move toward uh, 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 introducing our, our guest today, uh, I want to let you know this is actually the sixth briefing that I've had the opportunity to be involved with kicking off a 10-year plan. And, and at each briefing, I talk about basically the same things. And most of it is uh, making my own clumsy attempt at um, articulating the work of this professor uh, guy from the University of Pennsylvania uh, who did research um, over 10 years ago in the 90s, I don't want to betray Dennis's age because he looks very young, um, uh, that really changed the paradigm of how we uh, deal with homelessness in the United States. Uh, and I go on to talk about uh, this professor's more recent work around family homelessness and how that is changing the paradigm once again uh, and we can see that through new federal initiatives. Uh, this time we got it right, and rather than uh, listen to me talk for an hour, uh, you're going to get to listen to the man himself, Dennis Culhane. Um, we're very fortunate. Uh, we're one of a handful of states uh, that Dennis, uh, that Dr. Culhane has been working with very directly as we uh, create our uh, strategy to end family homelessness and rethink the way we address homelessness. We've been working very directly with Dennis uh, for over a year. As you know, Dennis is the leading scholar on homelessness uh, in the U.S. and most recently has been advising the new administration on uh, the ESG program that's going to be rolling out very soon uh, and will be directed for prevention, uh, diversion, and, and rapid rehousing. Uh, so there is really no better person uh, to kick off this process in Waterbury than Dr. Dennis Colhane, and it's my pleasure to introduce him.